38-week pregnant Alexandra woman learned her unborn child had been dead for about two weeks has been referred to the Quality Assurance Board. Shirley Swartz alerted a local clinic nurse that her baby was no longer moving, but nothing was done. The SABC also understands the clinic doesn't have a sonar machine. A grief-stricken Shirley Swartz, just days after laying her unborn son Unati to rest. It would have been her second child. At her last antenatal checkup, Shirley says she told the nurse that her baby was not moving. After I got the medication, I told the sister I haven't felt the baby kick and that my due date had passed. She told me my nine months is next month and that the baby was fine. She said she could hear a heartbeat. A few days later, she fell and was rushed to this hospital. She was informed that her unborn baby had been dead for some time. He was green in color. I asked if the baby died due to me falling. The nurse said he had been dead for one or two weeks. Following an SABC expose, swift response from Edenvale Hospital. They told me they couldn't establish whether the baby had been dead for two weeks or three days because a dead fetus starts going green in color after six hours. While the matter is before the Quality Assurance Directorate, it could take weeks, if not months, before action, if any, will be taken against the responsible nursing sister at the clinic. Once the... The, the, it has been established there's, there's somebody who has either been negligent, culpable in one way or the other. The Quality Assurance Body will then refer it back to those that mandated them to investigate. Those then can take a decision on whether to, uh, to pen penalise. While investigations are underway, the implicated sister continues to report for duty. Julian Pillay, SABC News, Alexandra.